Um, so today we are going to discuss about uh, some more DAX functionalities. And uh, so one of the time intelligence function dates between function. In what kind of situations we are going to use this dates between function and uh, by using these dates between function in the DAX, so what kind of uh, requirement we can achieve. So usually the requirement like, um, I want to find out each category wise, each category wise, what is the sales amount for last 30 days? Okay. So from today onwards. So if you want to find out uh, from today onwards, today means it's let's say for example you can take uh, get date. So get it will give the current date, and uh, so 30 days back. So 30 days back means uh, you can take uh, get date minus 30 days. So whatever. So always I want the sales amount sum of sales amount from whatever the table where a date between get date and uh, minus 30 days so this is the actually if you are writing a sql query so you can write down uh, to achieve the last 30 day sales information for the uh, whatever the category for example if you want to display english uh, product category and you can make it as a group by so how are you going to achieve for last 30 days always the last 30 days information i want to display over here if you want to achieve this kind of requirement you have to use the dates between function so the dates between function what it will do it is going to filter the data between two dates whatever the start date and end date you are going to provide over here okay so how can you write down this dax function so i want to write down this dax calculation on this key measures table so before you are going to uh, click on this a new measure so you have to highlight this key measures table so already i have uh, discussed how to create this key measures table to store all the measures information click on new measure so what is the major name you want to give i want to give this is the last 30 days sales information okay so calculate so this is the function we are going to use to evaluate more than one expression dax expressions or functions you are using okay so what you are going to calculate here i want to calculate the sum of the sales amount the sales amount field is coming from the sorry uh, sales amount field is coming from the uh, what is the table fact internet sales table okay done then this sales amount the sales amount we are going to calculate for the dates between what are all the dates between dates between function you need to use so what is the syntax if you observe the syntax dates between on what table you are going to filter the data so let's say for example i'm going to filter the data on the dates table so what is the date table you have date dim table uh, yeah dim date table so on this dim table in between what are all the two dates okay so what i will do uh, i will uh, you just alt enter then it will come over here so dates between dim date what is the start date okay let's say for example uh, you have to provide the start date what is the start date the start date now minus 30 days comma what is the end date end date means today so you just close like this so this is the syntax i have used over here sum of fact internet sales amount dates between uh, these two dates okay what is this error the sum function only accepts a column reference as an argument so what happened here sum of fact internet sales amount so why this is giving error okay we'll try to 
uh, parse this query. We'll see if there is any error is coming or not. See, there is an error is coming. What is that error? Dates between and dates in period functions are only accepting date columns reference as a first argument. So there is an error for this dates between. Okay, we'll see what is the um, syntax for the dates between dates between. So what is the syntax for the dates between? You just go over here, open this dates between function. This is the syntax for the dates between. Just come down. What is the first column? Dates. What is the dates? A reference to a date or time column. So here you have to specify the in, in, in place of the table name, you have to specify the column name. What is the column name? I want to filter the data based on the dim date table, full date alternate key. So now click enter. So in between these two dates and what date column you are going to filter the data, right? So now it is coming. Okay. So this is the measure you can use to calculate what is the last 30 days sales amount. So now I'm trying to browse this field by taking the English word category name, category name, English word category name. And where is your measure? last 30 days so definitely it don't give any result what is the reason because in my table i don't have the current year sales information i have 2014 from 2011 to 2014 the year but what we what we are trying to uh, filter the data latest to 30 days but i don't have the latest 30 days information if you observe here i will show you the data how much i have calendar calendar year and uh, sales amount just make it a table uh, sorry make this total sales amount and uh, this calendar year is uh, aggregating because it is a number so make it don't summarize see i have only 2011 12 13 14 but in the formula whatever you have written is uh, you made now now means current 2019 data it is trying to take over there so anyhow so usually in the real time situations you have the data for the current year so obviously you will get the data for last 30 days okay so this is the way you can use the how to calculate last 30 days sales information for the each category wise.